for isolation 1500 bricks 2 ton of sand 200 fiber lights 30 7 newton and trench block so right it's Sunday morning it's the 18th I think October first time seeing the concrete Jason's done us proud there got that sorted out for us good morning yeah it's me I'm back <laughs> Sunday morning, it's the 18th, I think, October. First time seeing the concrete. Jason's done us proud there, got that sorted out for us. I had to pay for it while I was getting out of the car park at the airport. <laughs> um, yeah, we just got back from the trip away, which was absolutely horrendous. Won't be going there again. Had a terrible time, but that's another story. So at the moment, everything's here. I did ask. So we put the stuff as far up the drive as possible so they put everything at the bottom of the drive. Floor insulation, 1500 bricks, 2 tonne of sand, 200 fiber lights, 30 7 newton and trench block. So all that here, the sand should have been here. And then the bricks should have been up behind them in the insulation. So everything's back to front. So, customer can't get the car on, we're governed by the uh, shared drive, so we've got this massive area at the top here with nothing in it because the insulation just be flipped over. The um, radio's just packed up, it's working a second ago, not only working now. So, so as of now we've got no power, we might as well just get the trench block loaded in for now and see how we get on after that, get the 4 inch block in. And we'll need some browns for that end because that's where the door is because we'll have to do the outside skin for the slab yeah the plan today was to get our, everything up to DPC one trench one four inch inside three face brick on the outside it's six to damp so first of all get the water out then we've got the toothing to do up there we've got the cut out for the vertical DPC which we can do with the toothing on that side cut out here all the ties to drill in and hopefully get all that done today and try and get um, get a grab to bring us some stone tomorrow and hopefully I'll be able to reach where that insulation is hopefully and then we can just bring it straight in and don't want to get it in bags it's too expensive and it's too awkward it's so much easier spading off the ground so yeah that's it for now get back to you in a bit right that is dead RIP GoPro, so I'm going to have to get any one of them orders. It's died this morning. Managed to get a bit of footage and then it's just gone. Put switch on. So, Bix is in, trench block are loaded. It's set out. Got our corners. And it's all squared. That's the diagonal 6519. So now, I'm going to try and get this first course of trench down once I've transferred the levels around. As I said in the last video, the house isn't level, but we've got to work off this end because of the toothers. So we're going to work off there for the toothers, for the level and for the bond. You've got to be careful when you do toothers. If you go down this end and set, set out your bond without checking it, dry bonding it back, you'll end up with a half in it. And that's not good. I mean, it's not massive if, it, if we do because there's doors in the middle, but you still don't want to be having a half of the wall if you can help it. Just a bit of forward planning, check, setting out. Got the bricks unwrapped, one pack's very wet. So I'm going to try as best I can to record on the phone today and get a GoPro ordered tonight and hopefully it comes in time to carry on recording. But yeah, that's it for now.
it's five to five and I've just collected all the stuff together to put away thrown the GoPro back in the uh, media mod and switched it on to see what happens and it's come on so I've missed all day filming because of this damn bloody thing don't know why it's not working but it's back working again now so there you go that's all done trench in all the block work done up to DPC so it's ready for slabbing face work up on the far end where the door is because you need that in for the flat the slab not the flab the slab if you eat too many of them biscuits over there you end up with the flab so yeah that's basically ready for slabbing so we're going to see if we can get some stone tomorrow from um, Jay Napier the uh, grab wagon see what we can do so um got a bit of more left over corners up there I'm going to put a quick corner up here and just run these in use them up a lot of wet bricks over there quick finish off here I'll film the corner because I've, I've not filmed anything else today I've just time lapsed a bit on the phone so um, I'll film this and film this just so you've got something to watch so yeah there you go up to DPC all ready for hardcore so we're all set up block weight's level so we can gauge our brickwork off the block work and uh, wait the bond out so we're level we're square got our bond I'll have a corner on here so we can get easiest to get the profiles on when we start the brickwork but tomorrow we'll be trying to get the stone and get this all backfilled get around the edge done as well so we've got somewhere to stand so yeah that's it let's get this corner built Extra stiff because I'm brick wet and we want to go home today. Gives half a chance of pointing up.
Alright, bang on. Got that and that's used up now, so I'll probably get the bottom course in, maybe a couple extra. So I'm gonna get the line up now, get this running, get the old fit bricks on. Now we're done. Nearly there. Boy, there. One, two, three, four, five. Quick shot. Anyway, time to tidy up and get home. Twenty past five. So let's get tidied up. Run them brick in, that side's finished, jointed up, holes filled up, corner ready for tomorrow, if we do any brick work, hopefully get some stone delivered tomorrow, we'll see how the grab boys get, get on for us, so yeah, time to go home, see you tomorrow. Good morning, yeah, it's me, I'm back, <laughs> we're uh, back on the job. Testing, testing, one, two. Is it working? The screen says it is. So, I'll hand you back to Alex. See if we can get this to work on the GoPro. GoPro? It's getting hard to work out. Um, yeah, so, um, where was I? <laughs> Dad's got, um, Dad got all the trench block in, got the blocks in, and got the uh, door set out for the slab. But um, unfortunately, we can't get stone till tomorrow. We can't really touch the inside yet. So today, we're going to try and get as many things set out as we can. I'm going to uh, get started getting the rest of the brick in. Dad's going to uh, grind yeah. out the uh, vertical damp. Mix is in. Bricks are loaded out. All you need to do is get a string, string line, load out, and then should be ready to go. Because that's the front side, back. It's going to be a window in the back. Solid wall and French doors here. But then, yeah, Alex just got that side in. We can't get stoned till tomorrow, so we can, we're gonna stone up today, but everything's such last minute. We're just coming back of holiday and it being Sunday yesterday, and no room on the dry to put anything. So it's Tuesday today. So it's gonna be next week before we get to slab it, which has put us back a bit. So what we're doing today is we're getting the brickwork up level. There's a door to go in here, so we might we might just do the lintels while we're at it. It's going to rain this afternoon. Got the trestles, might make might the outside lintel in. 1.8 opening, so we're putting a 2.1 concrete lintel in. Both skins. And I've just done the grind in here. So the two then cut through, and then all the halves are coming out. And then um, we can still get a vertical damping then as well. Yeah, so um, break time now. Right, it's two o'clock, what do we get done? Alex got this side in. As you can see down there, it's, um, it's, it's hammered it down for a couple of hours. Still the jointing, but it's done. Yeah. Couple of little planks, there's gonna be wet spots. Um, I'm gonna carry on with the uh, toothing now, Alex is gonna get this front in. We're just gonna have to get ourselves some dry bricks because a lot of them are soaked. I don't know why, but planks aren't very good for covering up with. Save your wet ones for the bottom course. Yeah. And then, um, I'm just waiting to hear back about the stone for tomorrow. So tomorrow we'll spend the whole day just getting it prepped. Yeah. So we're working out. 
I was hoping the footing for measurements, but I'm not going to be on. Bloody hell. So there you go. That's us for now. Catch you in a bit. There we go, we've jumped out while the weather's rain stopped, Alex has managed to level up, he's just jointing up now, some are soaked, some are dry, so it's a bit difficult, might just be a wire brush job here and there tomorrow, um, we need to try and fill the holes up, but uh, Alex, if you get the jointer where the holes are, and prod, you know it's filled with water, if you prod it you might just get, be able to get the water to run down further down. Well not um, ruin the... No, no, if not, just down, make the holes bigger so it'll, it goes down into the next brick, if you know what I mean. Yeah, the ruined face pin doesn't look too bad now, it's jointed. Yeah, well, why brush it anyway? Yeah, so Alex has got us levelled up. And oh, I've been... Works. Hey? Works. Yeah. And I've had the crap job. But, it's done. All the two are out. I managed to get them all done without any accidents. That one there with the extra brick is... There was a brick, the, the brick had a big chip in the... In the corner of it so let's come out so yeah um i've just realized our damp course doesn't go all the way through because it's only a it's only a nine inch grinder so what i'm gonna have to do is take the cavity out so the cavity runs through so i'm gonna get onto that now so um yeah we'll get that done now Right, quick one before the battery dies. Done. So, um, toothed out and the cavity's open, so you've got a continuous cavity into here. And there's our ties. So that's it, jobs are good and That's the crap job out of the way. So we just need to get our stone tomorrow. we will have to ring up to see when that's coming. Alex just cleaned the mixer out and he's filled all the holes up, jointed up. And got rid of the mortar down the cavity. Yeah, so that's it. I've got to switch off now before this camera switches itself off. We can't switch it off today in case we can't switch it back on again. Yeah. <laughs> right, um, it's 20 to 5. I know that because we've got to get on before 5 o'clock to do our Covid tests. Uh, I don't understand it all, but we've got to do them before 5 o'clock today. Because it's two days after we came back from Paris. I haven't got a clue, but I'll just go along with it. <clears throat> so yeah. Uh, just filled the buckets up um, the rain's filled the trench up stone's coming tomorrow don't know what time tooling's done brickwork's all up to DPC profile holes are cut out ready for the profiles uh, buttons up ready for the brickwork and DPC is in vertical DPC that's 150 damp that's why it's sticking out so far yeah that's us for today tomorrow is stoning up and prepping for the slab there's all our jab light for the slab. We've got the 19 mil stuff around the edge instead of cutting it like we usually do. It's going to be a lot easier. We're going to cut that 225 because uh, we had a couple of comments saying cut it long enough so that the the, the horizontal slabs trap it in like that. 
and then, it's, then you're sticking up and it's not falling over the place then so we're going to give that a whirl tomorrow so yeah that's us it'd be nice to get it slab so we can get it get it tidy get it all stoned up around the outside too and then we can get all them blocks and get them on the slab so they can get the drive back of it shame about the sand being down the bottom but it is what it is so yeah catch you later